Hey guys, if you guys want to see how I go from this to this, <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am Gabriella Elena, if you do not know already. And if you're new here, we just became best friends. <laughs> Today, I am doing a 2020 updated hair tutorial. Here to answer more of your questions. I show you how I wrap my hair at night. I show you how I touch it up in the morning or I tell you how I touch it up in the morning. And it's super, super easy. I also show you a different styling method because don't think that I just sit up here and just go one, two, three and I'm done. No. <laughs> when my hair is a little bit longer, I cannot make my hair glide right through I have to do a different technique and I show you guys how to do it here so let me get some of the main questions out of the way my hair type I believe is a 3c 4a type I do not have any relaxers or texturizers in my hair I am completely natural to touch up my hair in the morning all I use is water and a dry styling oil that's it. I use a big satin scarf at night and that's about it. <laughs> so if you guys want to see how I style and some techniques, stay tuned. Bye. Alrighty guys, let's get started. I am fresh out the shower, but my hair has dried because I did my makeup. Because after this, I'm out the door. <laughs> so I'm going to take my spray bottle. And I'm just going to re-wet my hair. So normally I would, you know, my hair would be already soaking wet, but for video purposes, you know, glam. So if you guys watched my last video, you guys know I love Bea Curls, and I still do. I get this at Dollar General, it's like five bucks, and it's not broke, I'm not gonna fix it. But a good alternative is this brand called Curly Bees. This, I have the whole line. I use this if I'm out of Bea Curls because this is a good close second for my hair. But I feel that Bea Curls makes my hair more curly, more juicy. So I'm gonna take about this much. Rub that all in my head. I'm gonna really, really saturate my hair. The next thing I use is Bayer Curls Jamaican Black Castor Oil Hair Butter. This is just a thicker leave-in conditioner. I like my hair to be as hydrated as possible. I like to use this hair butter because I like my hair to be as hydrated as possible. Because this style usually lasts me about four days, three to four days. This gives me that nice wet look that I love so much. And I do have a rag down here, guys, because this does get a little messy. So I'm going to start on my sides. So I just part right here using a rat tail cone. And I'm going to use the Extreme Wet Line Gel. This is my favorite gel. I know back then I used the Eco Styler. This is way better. And I think you get this big old jar for like 3 to $5. I got it at Walgreens. Like, and no flaking. No flaking whatsoever. No flaking. <laughs> so I take the gel, run it to the sides like so I smooth out my sides like so and this is where the and this is where the Nairobi wrapping lotion comes in I take about let's say two pumps 
This allows my comb to glide right through and hold. So I do one wave like so. And then I just do little C motions like that. Now, don't think that I don't sit here and do it 10, 11, 12 times because I do. Because I know some of you guys are like, oh my God, I can't do it, it's just so hard. Yeah, me too, me too. If it's too hard for me to do, this is another step that I like to do. If my hair is too long, I just go literally like this and boom. It looks the exact same when my hair is too long. And I can tell I'm gonna need a haircut soon. <laughs> so I do to see if it's too long up here, which it kinda is. And then I come back and I just perfect it with the end of the rat tail comb. And it doesn't have to be perfect. That's what I kind of love about the way I style my hair is because it's gonna look different every time. And if I wanted it to be perfect, I'll be sitting up here crying because it won't be. So like that. And I'm really happy with this. So. I'm gonna take another gel, and for the back of my head, I just literally run my fingers through it. Like so. And allow it to curl up here. And that's it for the back. On to the next side. Same thing. I part my hair. Get some gel. Lay the hair down. Get some Nairobi foam. This is my harder side. I don't know what it is. It, it's just harder for me. Okay, so same thing. So I am pulling the hair forward and I'm allowing my middle finger to just help guide the hair and lay flat. So I push this back like so because this hair is this side is already too long and then i go back from underneath boom just like that and then we just shape it with the rat tail comb So these are my sides. I'm gonna take some more gel and add more here. So now in the front, I just part, comb through, I take the gel and I just pull. That's all I do throughout. Part. Chill. And pull. Now once that everything is parted, 
I like to go in and separate the curls so my hair can look a lot fuller and not just to clump together. blow dry my hair on warm and high. All right, and I use a diffuser because it keeps my hair less frizzy and I don't wanna walk around with wet hair and get sick, so that's why I dry my hair with the diffuser. And that's it for my hair. Now, the biggest question, how do I wrap my hair when I go to sleep? I cannot for the life of me find my satin scarf, but I use a satin scarf, but I'm gonna use this bandana as an example. So it's like a big square satin scarf. It's way bigger than this. And I fold it into a triangle like this. And all I do is take it loosely. It's not super tight and I just tie it in a knot like so. I do not want the top of my hair smashed down, but I do want my sides because I like when it looks more tapered. So this side will be more down and yes, the back, well of course this will be covered because it's a bigger scarf, my satin scarf. This will be smashed down, but when I usually get a haircut, this is more shaved. I get it more faded. And all I do, you know, wake up, take it off like so. I take my spray bottle, wet the back of my hair, rub my hands through, and I use this coconut oil. It's a dry styling oil from Mark Anthony. And it literally looks like this all over again. This style lasts for about three, four days and I just do it over again or if I don't feel like doing it, I just wear a wig. <laughs> so I really hope this was helpful and you guys get a better understanding because I know there's a lot of questions. So if you like this, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and bye guys. <laughs>